Commando AP Dry Ice Blaster is a powerful and portable cleaning machine ready to take on the toughest cleaning applications. Each machine comes with the required equipment for dry ice blasting, however when using an air compressor without a moisture filter, the Command Air Aftercooler is a highly recommended accessory. Before operating the machine, ensure you have all the necessary safety gear required for dry ice blasting. Required safety gear includes ear protection, safety glasses, and insulated gloves. Additional safety equipment may include a respirator, CO2 detector for cleaning in confined spaces, a hard hat, and a face shield for blasting applications with a large amount of debris. Preparing the dry ice blaster for operation takes only minutes to complete. First attach the air supply line for the aftercooler to the air compressor. Connect the line by pulling the lock back, pushing in, and twisting to secure it in place. As a safety precaution, be sure to attach the whip check from your compressor to the air line. Straighten out the air line, ensuring there are no kinks that will block airflow, and connect the outlet side of the air line to the air inlet on the aftercooler. Attach the included whip check at this connection point as well. Position the aftercooler near the work area and attach the second air hose to the air outlet on the aftercooler. This line will supply cool, dry air to the dry ice blaster. Connect the other end of the air line to the air inlet located on the back side of the blaster and attach the included whip check. Ensure the red shutoff valve is down in the off position prior to starting the air compressor. Position the machine near the work area and securely attach the blasting hose to the air and dry ice supply line located at the bottom of the machine. Connect the blue and red lines with push to lock fittings to their corresponding blue and red connection points. Then attach the grounding cable for the blasting gun. The blasting gun is located in the small black toolbox. Install the nozzle adapter in the gun by inserting it onto the barrel and securely tightening. A light is included that can be attached to the barrel for cleaning in dark locations. A variety of nozzles are included to cover virtually any cleaning application. Included here are three nozzle extensions measuring 12, 18, and 24 inches. Two nozzles are included in this toolbox. The 5 inch round medium flow nozzle is the least aggressive nozzle. This is suggested for light duty cleaning and detailing. The 1 inch fan nozzle is more aggressive and is a great multi purpose nozzle. In the larger toolbox you'll find the additional extensions and nozzles. The 3 inch nozzle is slightly less aggressive than the 1 inch but provides a wider blasting area. The 2 inch 45 degree angled nozzle is an aggressive nozzle that allows easy cleaning of higher and harder reach areas. The multi-choke blast barrel allows for higher ice flow and is ideal for heavy duty cleaning. The most aggressive blasting nozzle in the kit, the howitzer, is capable of removing paint and other hard to remove coatings. For cleaning applications requiring a softer touch, a fragmentation device can be used to shatter the dry ice pellets into a fine dust. This reduces the kinetic energy of the pellets that can dent or damage a surface. The flow can be adjusted using the dial on the fragmenter. Connect the blasting gun to the end of the blasting hose. The connection is similar to that on the machine with the red line connecting to the red washer and the blue line connecting to the blue washer. Attach the ground cable to complete your blasting gun attachment. Connect the blasting nozzle to the gun by inserting the nozzle adapter end into the barrel connector and then tighten firmly in place. Now that your equipment is all connected, take time to review the Commando Quick Start Guide to understand the necessary safety and operation procedures. At this time, please ensure the required safety gear for dry ice blasting is worn. This includes ear protection, safety glasses or face shield, insulated gloves, and any other safety measures required for your blasting application. Start the air compressor and allow warm-up time if necessary. Turn on the air valve to supply air to the aftercooler. On the aftercooler, turn on the fan and set the pressure between 30 and 40 psi.
adjust the valves on the air and moisture filter so there's just a slight amount of air flowing for drainage. Then turn on the air valve to supply air to the blaster. On the blaster, open the control panel cover and activate the air supply by pulling the valve upward. With the compressor turned all the way up, adjust the air on the regulator so the machine has maximum pressure. Prior to blasting, attach the ground cable to a grounding point to dissipate the static electricity created while cleaning. Next, set your ice flow. Do this by observing the feed wheel at the bottom of the hopper turn while releasing air from the blasting gun. Turn the pellet feed rate knob until you get the desired rotation for delivering ice into the airflow. Be sure to replace the grate at the top of the hopper when finished. You are now ready to load the machine with dry ice. When scooping ice, remove any clumps of dry ice that may clog the machine. The pellets should always be fresh and not stuck to each other. After getting your dry ice, always close the lid on the dry ice tote to keep debris out of your ice supply and to prevent the ice pellets from sublimating. Load the hopper with one scoop of dry ice and close the lid. Always close the lid during operation to prevent any debris from getting into the machine and damaging the feed wheel. Adjust your ice flow by operating the blasting gun with one hand and turning the pellet feed dial with the other. Ensure the gun is not pointed at anyone near the work area. Adjust the dial until a desired ice flow is observed. Once the ice flow is adjusted, fill the remainder of the hopper with dry ice. Begin blasting in a small area to determine if the installed nozzle is ideal for your cleaning application. If you find the selected nozzle isn't getting the job done, try a different one. In this example, the wide fan nozzle works best for quickly removing old paint from a concrete surface. For additional information and troubleshooting, please refer to the Commando AP Operation Manual. This video is not meant to replace the manual, and it should always be reviewed prior to operating the machine.